Hi everyone, I am your host, owner, and creator of The Mix. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to The Mix. Those who are new to my channel, I pre-record all my videos, mostly. Rarely go live, but that will be changing soon. Um, yeah, so like this video, share this video, subscribe to The Mix. Thank you all for tuning in. And listen to this video beginning to end everyone and it is free it's free it costs you nothing if you like this video it costs you nothing if you share this video it costs you ab absolutely nothing to drop a comment that's free 99 it costs you nothing to subscribe to my channel that way you can push your girl through the al algorithm you know push me through that algorithm everybody push your girl i'm on a roll to 1k plus sub so hey thank you all to my especially my day one subscribers thank you so much Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're interested in supporting my channel in a donation format form, also you can um, support by selling your girl or cash apping your girl. My information is in my description section of this post. And if you're interested in knowing more about the mix, head on over to the about section. This is a multifaceted channel. You'll find a variety of topics, multiple topics, you know, on this channel. And um, yeah, I'm here for entertainment informational type of purposes so thank you thank you thank you again it's just free to subscribe it's free to hit a like it's free to share youtube is free free 99 depending on you know what type of um youtube um package you have <laughs> you know so some people prefer to pay for premium and this and that but just regular youtube is what i'm on it's, it's free 99 <laughs> It's free 99 but support your girl support my channel those who are passing through thank you i hope you find this information well and as you can see what this video is going to be about mr daystar peterson aka tory lanes i hope you um, checked out some of my videos in my video section and um on my video section sorry you guys i'm out walking early mornings try to stay active get out and walk so uh, but yeah i'm Hope you check out some of my videos in my video section. I got some polls going on in my community section. So go over there and vote. Vote, vote, vote as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to keep you all long, but I just have to make this point. I don't know if you all are um, understanding that when it comes to the legal process, even if a person got got caught with their hand in the cookie jar if they did what they said they did did or whatever whoever said they did that shit that's 50 cent was saying i hope i can curse that they did that ish the burden of proof relies on the prosecutors the state the feds and the thing is that too they have to act ethically when prosecuting someone or if they don't act fairly and ethically then that means that the person did not get a fair trial even if they actually did that. I'm not stating in this case, Mr. Daystar Peters, a.k.a. Tory Lanez, that, that's the um, instance. No, doesn't that. Go ahead on over to my video section. I will, you will see. I stand 10 toes down. I do not believe they, he did what they said they did according to the charges of the narrative. Absolutely not. I do not believe he, they say, hey, I want to, I want to, S-H-O-T-M-T-S. I'm that mad and enraged. No, I, I, let me point this at her and try to take her out. No, I don't believe it happened. Period. So, but my point I'm trying to make is, excuse me, guys, because again, I'm walking, so cars and stuff out. Yeah. And I'm running across the major road now. <laughs> I need to run. Cardio, cardio, cardio. But yeah. So even if. What would I say? Yeah, so even if. Yeah, so I don't believe that he did that. So the point I'm trying to make is we can use Travis Rudolph as an example, his case. Travis Rudolph, he did what they said he did, but why did he do it? Thank God that they had that video of the Jezebel, J Dominic Jones, going ballistic on Travis. I think that played a major role as well as in his defense. Shout out to his defense team. Any attorney should be like that. Any attorney should have the court decorum, the skill set, the intellect, the trial experience, to get in there and to be able to pick apart the prosecutor's case and point out and point out the 
the actions of the prosecutors, which Travis Rudolph's attorney did. So that's how you also get the jury to be like, there's reasonable doubt. So again, as an example, Travis Rudolph, so many things, so many moving parts with his case. And yeah, he defended himself. So he did take out the intruders as he should. You know, so and let me get this um, out the way really quickly. I do not condone violence, none of that, or assault against anyone, none of that. I no, I'm not for that. I don't. I'm not an advocate of that. Um, and I just want to make that clear. However, if someone, if your life is being threatened and you have to defend yourself, then that's a different story. But I'm not for all the violence against anyone, whether it be a male or female, female or male. I'm not. Period. So or no type of harm to anyone, whether it be male, female, elderly, kids, none of that. I'm not for that. So I hope you guys understand that. And I think I said that in a couple other videos. So moving forward. So if back to Travis Rudolph and then of course Tory Lane. I'm just using Travis as an example. Travis Rudolph did not plead guilty and why should he have pled guilty? Because he didn't do anything. And that's basically Mr. Daystar Peterson is stating he didn't do anything. So why plead guilty? Some people get the notion of it that, oh, if you plead guilty, then you're, no, that's a plea deal. You can't come back and appeal. There is some contingencies, unless, and I'm not going to say an appeal, because um, if you don't plead guilty and you're found convicted, then you are you can appeal, 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 all the way up to the Supreme Court. Appeal, appeal, appeal. Um, because you did not, you're saying, hey, I'm innocent. But if you plea, cop a plea, and um, if you cop a plea, then that's a different story. It's like, okay, because you're signing off saying I'm copping a plea and I'm pleading guilty to whatever they said you did on paper. You gotta wait till the train go past. So you pop copping a plea to whatever they said you did on paper. Um, so basically, in that instance, you can't come back. The only way you could possibly come back is if that judge was corrupt, the prosecutors were corrupt, and that's a strong possibility. Or the police um, enforcement, uh, the police officers were corrupt, and they got a slew of cases that they presided over, and they were corrupt in. And then you have these uh, the innocent project people going in, or you have the district attorney they going in doing some type of audit, or so whatever the case may be. I don't know what would bring an audit, or what would bring attention to certain law enforcement officers judges or prosecutors who got a person convicted or whatever you know who presided over cases and got a person convicted i um don't know what brings light to to their cases to make someone be like hey you know of a higher um level be like hey these cases weren't done were done uh, ethically because this person was a crook you know so that's the only way a plea deal could possibly possibly be overturned or like i said the innocence project come out and find that all these people role players they were corrupt and then everybody who got convicted or who copped the plea can be released so i hope that makes sense but back to this so if you if and that means that person who was either copped the plea or convicted under those dirty cops um, dirty prosecutors I'm just going to use the word dirty or and these are, this is just a hypothetical situation because it does happen though and I don't have examples on hand or dirty judge then that particular situation uh, then all those people they get released so that's how that works that means those people didn't get a fair trial that means it was a you know it, they didn't get a fair trial their constitution, constitutional rights were violated so what I'm saying here is, oh, this male's horrible over here. What I'm saying here is that's, um, and Mr. Daystar Peterson, AKA Tory Lane's case, he is pleading not guilty. He pled not guilty, but got convicted. So in my opinion, and I stated this before, I'm standing 10 toes down. I don't believe he did what they said he did, period. That he did not get a fair trial. Something in the milk ain't clean. Something was going on with his attorneys at trial, not the new attorney, his attorneys at trial. I've always said that. Why? Why did Sean Holly leave in the middle of trial? A huge question. What attorney leave in the middle of a trial? Something not right. 
something right not right and that right there would be an effective counsel because if she was the lead and doing most of the work creating the strategies this and that the other attorneys are just co-chairs they're co-chairs she's you know the brain she's the strategist she's the this and that because she's lead you have the lead attorney then you have the co-attorneys co-chairs so that's leaving him with whoever that is pretty much left you know especially if this i can see before trial she leaves or you know what i'm saying or she drops out before trial or be, you know and nothing was really done action wise behind the scenes from a legal perspective on her end as legal counsel on his behalf then that's different but she left during trial she has to remove herself for whatever in my opinion bullshit reason whatever bullshit reason probably no one ever went into details about that that was just to me so strange so strange you know so because this is somebody's life and livelihood even if you got your hand caught in a cookie jar even like i said like with Tra travis rudolph he did what he did but that was in self-defense you know even if you have your hand in a cookie jar it's the burden of proof it rests on the prosecutors the state the federal government and if you all think that somebody should po supposed to just roll over and accept what the state and federal government says y'all crazy Y'all got too much faith in this system and, and good luck with all of that. Good luck because it's not fair. It's not designed to be fair. It should be fair, but it's not. Based off of my experience in education, I've seen quite a lot of things that are questionable in um, that particular, in the industry, legal industry. Even if you just review some of the different cases out here, non-celebrity cases in the news, yeah, please. Yeah, okay. The burden of proof rests on the prosecutors in the state, and they have to act ethically, color inside the line, when prosecuting someone. Anything less than that becomes a violation of someone's constitutional rights. Anything less than that becomes a miscarriage of justice. Anything less than that becomes malicious prosecution you know and this is just the term that they use or um ineffective counsel especially if you have an attorney who's at moving funny your private attorney is moving fun, fun, funny so it's just so many things legally in the justice system we, it's supposed to be fair and balanced fair and balanced even if you got caught with your hand in the cookie jar you can't if there's rules to this you know so I believe, as I stated before, that um, things did happen the way they said it did. And more to come. There's more to come. Free Tory Lanes. Drop a comment, you guys. Like this video. Share this video. Drop a comment. We can agree to disagree, but yeah, something in the milk, in my opinion, is not clean. I said that in my previous videos. And um, yeah, there you have it. But I'm just coming on here to let you all know that when it comes to this legal stuff, you know, it may be a relative of yours. It may be your stuff. In the future, it may be a child. We all going to get old one day. We're all getting older. Come on now. And if uh, life happens, life happens to us all. So if you have to grace somebody's courtroom one day with a relative or maybe yourself or maybe a close friend, you will see. You will see. You shall see. These people ain't trying to get to the truth. They're trying to get wins. Prosecutors get wins. This is their tra career trajectory. It's about the win. I'm not saying all of them are like that, but for the most part, they care about the W. Because this is a notch under their belt. And before you know it, they become they become um, head prosecutors, they become district attorneys, they run for elected official offices, they become judges. Before you know it, they run they they're in the White House talking about some day working for the Department of Justice. They tough on crime. You know, so it's career moves, career trajectory. You all really think that they care about it, what really happened in, a, in, in this situation? And it was how many people in that car? Just think about the actions that led up to that. Just think about it. I don't even think that they went to Kylie Jenner's house. Uh, all together, I think one person was there at first, and then somebody called somebody come over. You know, everybody turned up intoxicated. Then you have highly intoxicated people, or whatever else that was possibly going on. And this is like alleged, you know. Well, I ain't gonna say it's alleged because someone testified that 
everybody was pretty much wasted <laughs> and some some people were a little bit more wasted than the other so then your judgment is impaired you know your your decision making is impaired then whatever else on top of that put it pallet on top of that come on now if a situation arises or somebody feeling some kind of way feeling slated or slighted or whatever you want to call it then that escalates so but yeah something in the milk is not clean Tory Lane sentencing is scheduled I think what August 7th that may be postponed again you just never know and um, yes he's paying his attorneys to do what they have to do and as they as he should and as long as they're acting legally under the law following the rules then they have every right to ask the judge to postpone one thing I can say that judge didn't say this is the final postponement Judge David did say that, and I don't even care for the judge, but he did say that this is the final postponement, final sentencing um, delay. He didn't say that. He just, he didn't, I, to my knowledge, unless I'm missing something, did he? Drop a comment if Judge David in the Tory Lanez case said that this was the final um, postponement of his sentencing. So anything can happen. There's so many rules and all of that um, criminal law is so complex. And a good attorney will find every every opportunity to get a better outcome for their client. That means in Ms. Victoria Lane's case situation, find every opportunity so that he won't have to. So yeah, like this video, share this video. That's all I had to uh, come on here and say. Free Tory Lane's umbrellas up, umbrellas up, go stream his music whatever and for those who support him support him for those who don't okay you don't you know we all can do, agree to disagree but hey and i believe you know hopefully things work out in his favor and i i believe when it does i'm gonna be like i told y'all so i told y'all so <laughs> but like this video share this video thank you all thank you all to my mixers yes, i'm calling you guys mixers again it's free to like this video it's free to subscribe to my channel so subscriptions are free just hit that subscription button drop a comment let me know your thoughts